Hello folks. It is an absolutely beautiful mid-September day here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, we are standing up at the Blue Dragon tiny house, uh, but the, the same video is relevant to all three of my tiny houses here. So, uh, over a year ago, I made a video and put it on this channel about why there is no cleaning deposit at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And the level of cleanliness uh, you can expect here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I was completely upfront and honest about it. Uh, I have also made uh, a video called, Are You a Good Fit for Bugs in a Jar Farm? Or I might say, Is Bugs in a Jar Farm a Good Fit for You? Anytime someone books here, I send a long letter of explanation about what I have tried and I think pretty well succeeded in creating uh, here over the past five years. And what we have here are these three very rustic tiny houses uh, out in nature. I cannot uh, say this enough times. This is not your average Airbnb. We are not a five-star Ritz-Carlton hotel. We do not want to be. I want to share this beautiful vision I have created here with other like-minded individuals who enjoy getting out into nature in a beautiful place with a few amenities of civilization. I, I bend over backwards to put this message out and make it clear to anyone that if what I have created here is not what you're looking for, then fine. Do not come here and find a place that suits your needs better. So this seems to have worked out. But we had a problem last night. I, I had a problem with a guest last night. And so I feel compelled to update my cleaning, uh, lack of cleaning fee uh, video. But before we go inside here at Blue Dragon, uh, I, I want to state, and, and you can look at my record, uh, I am a five-star super host on, uh, on Airbnb. I think over my history of three years, uh, I have 184 reviews, and I have a 4.95 out of that. Uh, so somewhere along the way, I've gotten a couple of fours in the uh, various categories I'm rated on. So this year, 2024, I know I'm 100% sure, because I counted them last night, I have had 58 reviews of people who have stayed here at Bugs in a Jar, uh, in, including uh, Blue Dragon, uh, Hummingbird, and Seahorse. Of the 58 reviews, every single person has given me five stars out of five stars. I have a 100% five-star rating from these 58 people. So every one of them, including the people who stayed here at Blue Dragon, have given me a five-star rating on cleanliness. Okay. 
and everything has been fine. And then what happened last night is this very nice woman uh, who happens to be a five-star super host, just like me, reserved, uh, re reserved Blue Dragon. And uh, she got here after dark and seemed very happy when she got here. I settled her into Blue Dragon and I was down, I left her alone uh, and told her good night, went down below, and within 30 minutes, she was down there saying she felt that, that she could not spend a night at Blue Dragon, or I guess anywhere by default at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, she could not spend the night here because she felt unsafe was the word she used. She felt unsafe staying at Blue Dragon. I, I jumped to the conclusion that she was talking about that she heard a mouse inside the wall. And I have a video on mice. So I thought she was talking about the mouse, but no, she was not talking about the mouse. She described this tiny house as filthy. This tiny house is so filthy that it wasn't, you know, she wasn't going to leave a four-star or a three-star or a two-star or a one-star uh, on, on my cleanliness. She packed up her stuff and left. I gave her a full refund. She was going to be here for three nights. Okay. I confirmed with her that she had read that long introductory letter. I confirmed with her that she had seen the Are You a Good Fit with Bugs in a Jar Farm. She had listened to that video. I confirmed with her that she had listened to my original video on the cleaning deposit and why there is no cleaning deposit. Here. So understand, I do not charge a cleaning deposit. I made it very clear in that video, and, and I'm going to double down on it. Uh, if you are the type of person who puts on a white glove and goes down the, the windowsills and the shelves and whatever looking for a, you know, a smudge of dust on your fingertip, you are not a good fit for Bugs in a Jar Farm. You will not be happy here. This is a one-man show. I am a, a pretty much an old man uh, with no help whatsoever running a 14-acre a, a uh, Airbnb with, with three tiny houses. I do the best I can. So Blue Dragon is my house. This is where I live when it's not rented out. So I keep th this uh, house... Uh, you know, up to my standards of cleanliness in my own life. And then, of course, when I have a guest check-in, uh, when I have a guest check-in, you know, I put on fresh sheets and I sweep out the place and whatnot. So this, I, I, I have not touched one thing. This is what this woman found when she got to Blue Dragon. Uh, th this is the front porch on, uh, on Blue Dragon, exactly as she found it yesterday. She has no complaints about the cleanliness of the front porch. 
we're going to go inside Blue Dragon. Okay, again, I have not touched this place since she told me that this tiny house was filthy. She was not comfortable here. And she did not feel safe because of how dirty this tiny house was. Okay, what she particularly described to me, I said, I want to know particularly what you're talking about. She told me she went to prepare some food, you, you know, here on the, on basically on the kitchen shelf. She went to reach for a knife and she said there was dust on the knife holder, the, 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 the butcher block knife holder, that she found dust on the uh, on the knife holder, she said the uh, spoon, uh, I, I guess these little wooden spoons uh, for the coffee and creamer. Uh, she was not satisfied with the cleanliness of the spoons, and she said the coffee cups also had dust on them and that she said but but this, this all in all she said this surface was filthy was filthy she did not feel safe in getting a clean plate and preparing her food on this surface now I, maybe she did not notice that uh, where this stuff is sitting is up against an open window facing out on the screen porch. Okay, so uh, dust can still blow in here. So all, all of this stuff admittedly has been sitting because I like to leave the windows open to keep it fresh and airy in here. So there is going to be some dust blowing in from there. And uh, so anyway, let's do the, the uh, okay. Let's look at the, okay. We do have a smudge of dust. Okay, we're going to go down the filthy Okay, there is a picture of what it looks like after I rub a white paper towel all over the, uh, the surface that she described as filthy and made her so uncomfortable that she felt unsafe. These dusty coffee cups, which you see I keep upside down uh, to keep the dust out of them. So, so, so anyway, guys, she has every right to, to do this. Uh, every right to uh, complain about this. This, uh, I, I'm, I'm not arguing with this woman's reality, okay? I am not saying in that I'm arguing with her. Uh, what I am saying, however, anybody listening to this, if this right here, this level of cleanliness makes you so uncomfortable that you would not feel safe spending the night here. So what she told me from one super host to another is that I needed to do a deep cleaning on uh, on here that I needed to hire someone to come in here and do a deep cleaning 
uh, probably to the tune of several hundred dollars. And uh, I, I reminded her she had was not paying one penny of uh, cleaning fee. I am marketing my tiny houses to people who would rather accept accept some dust on a knife holder butcher block then pay $75 for me to come uh, clean this place. I just feel like uh, more people would appreciate not having to pay a cleaning fee and, and be happy with my level of cleanliness. But if this level of cleanliness makes you uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form, you are not a good fit for bugs in a jar farm. Do not make a reservation here. If you have made a reservation here and anything in this video makes you uncomfortable and you think you would be uncomfortable or certainly unsafe by spending a night in one of my tiny houses, do not make the reservation. If you have made the reservation, cancel it immediately cancel it immediately and i will refund your money in full like i did with this woman last night i do not want anybody here who is unhappy or dissatisfied with the vision that that i am creating uh, at, at, at my airbnb uh, if you're not happy I'm not happy, and uh, I want everybody to be happy at, uh, at, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So, I can't make it any clearer than that. One more time. We are not a five-star Ritz-Carlton hotel at Bugs in a Jar Farm, and we don't want to be. Okay, and uh, that is the bottom line, but if you think, uh, if, if you're not looking for a Ritz-Carlton hotel and you're looking for a place like this with no cleaning fee to add to it, uh, I think you will love this place. There might be some dust on the knife holder. And I think, I have made my point this time with this video. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you at Bugs in a Jar Farm next summer because we're shutting this thing down for the year. Come see me next summer. Bye guys.